Kia ora koutou. Welcome to this Teaching Council Maratu Aotearoa recorded webinar on the professional growth cycle for teachers na kaiako. Ko Simon Koro Takuinua, and I'm a Tuhu Tuhu Matua Senior Advisor here at the Council. My background is in early childhood education. This video is focused on element A, but it's one part of an original three part webinar series. You might want to watch all three episodes or just specific episodes. This video is designed to assist those that are new to developing a professional growth cycle or to help those of you who are looking at refining all or part of your current one. Some key things to remember about the professional growth cycle as a whole. The profession created it so it belongs to us as teachers, whether you're from early childhood education, primary, intermediate or secondary settings. The professional growth cycle has been designed to be flexible for the different needs and strengths of each setting. Here you can see the elements are labelled A to F, however they need to be viewed holistically as one thing will impact on all of the others. If you're unfamiliar with all of the elements, look up the professional growth cycle on the Teaching Council website. This episode will ask you to consider the purpose of the standards for the teaching profession na Pairiwa. Have a look at how they are structured and how this can guide the writing of a quality practice statement. All for you to meet the requirements of element A of the professional growth cycle, which you can read here. Think for a moment while we have standards for the teaching profession, what do you think is their purpose? The purpose of Nā Pairi was standards for the teaching profession, and this is straight from page 16 of our code, our standards. So they describe the essential professional knowledge and practice and professional relationship and values required for effective teaching. They set the standard expected for teachers to be issued with a practicing certificate. They provide a framework to guide our career long professional learning and development as a teacher. They promote the status of the teaching profession through making explicit the complex nature of teachers work. Strengthen public confidence in the teaching profession and promote high quality teaching and leadership for all learners across all education settings. When you look at each of the standards now Pairiwa, you can see they are written to highlight teaching and learning. Each standard has the knowledge, personal attributes and values of teachers, an action such as design learning, develop, teach, a benefit for learners or a reason this action is important. So here, the knowledge, action and outcome have been highlighted as an example in the standard professional relationships. Have a look in the five other standards to see if you can identify the knowledge component, the action component and the outcome component in each. Professional knowledge can inform the desired learning outcomes for your students or outcomes can dictate what actions you need to take. When crafting element A in your context, you can actually start at any point. For example, you may have desirable outcomes for students already outlined in a philosophy or mission statement. There may be particular actions that your students engage well with, or you and your team may have undertaken an aspect of professional learning and are now developing some actions to implement it. You and your colleagues will be able to use the standards Nā Pairiwa as a clear reference point to see what works well in your setting and what is effective for your learners. You create a quality practice document and then review it when you feel the time is right to make this process valuable for you and your setting. A note here on the role of naturally occurring evidence. Evidence is naturally created as part of your teaching practice. It does not need to be hyperlinked, recreated, color-coded or collated 
it can remain in its natural location, such as a planning wall or in students' assessment information. It moves from being stuff to evidence when it is used. That is used to deepen understanding about teaching and learning, to connect items, create new knowledge, draw conclusions, and to make informed decisions. A quality practice template can be found on the Council's website. Your document doesn't need to look like this, but here is an example of what it could look like when you have written a quality practice statement. Your quality practice statements may benefit from mimicking the structure we have talked about in the previous slides. We need to know this so that our teachers do this to achieve the desirable learner outcome. Now we acknowledge that the example above is in its simplest form, but you should be able to see how the quality practice document can become a reference point for collegial conversations about teaching and learning through the standards Nā Pairiwa in your setting. The document supports a shared understanding from teachers new to your setting about what is important for your learners. So what will you do now with element A? Consider what will be the flow on effect for the other elements of your professional growth cycle. So for example, element C is about engaging in professional learning using Nā Pairiwa, the standards. Or what will the impact be on element D in discussing feedback on practice, including observation? It may be now that you either need to create your quality practice document or evaluate it based on what we have presented thus far. If your document already does what we have suggested, here are some additional considerations. Revisit your quality practice document to ensure it includes your current professional learning and development. For example, Kahuiako achievement challenges, your use of national documents such as the New Zealand curriculum, Tataiako, etc. You could also use research publications relevant to your context, goals, and strategic plan to add to, amend, or remove anything recorded as a quality practice. Discuss whether any of these things are must-dos or might-dos because they relate to a particular teaching role. As teachers undertake professional learning or engage in any internal evaluation, discuss and analyse your new understandings, your new knowledge about quality practice and add these to your document. If you have any part I check out our range of professional growth cycle resources on the Teaching Council website. You can also contact us at this email address. Thank you so much for watching and all the best for your professional growth cycle.